Hey guys, Ben America's Baseball Camps, just touching base, watching uh, your swings and, and uh, I'm doing some video analysis work and, and wanted to go over a few things that I see in regards to our swing. Um, the biggest thing that I see in regards to some things that we can work on for the season is we need to get better balance. We need to get better legs underneath us when we're hitting. Um, you're nice and tall, you're athletic, but we need to be more consistent and, and better foundation when we hit. Uh, a big tip for you is at the end of your swing, I want you to freeze because you have a tendency to uh, just kind of not, you can see, don't have a uh, huge balance in regards to when my feet move around a lot uh, as I swing. So get those uh, feet underneath you and, and really be able to focus in on just holding your finish and, and getting yourself uh, kind of that good balance to hold. You can see those feet kind of move around a, a bunch. So. Uh, let's go ahead and back it up in regards to our, our first swing here. Um, feet are fine. Your knees are fine. Your back has a good posture to it. Your eyes are on the baseball. Uh, everything looks pretty good from this, this standpoint. Uh, make sure we don't uh, shrink down too much. Keep that good tallness that you have in regard as a player. So one thing I do see, this is a big one, um, as you'll see on this bottom arm here. Watch this bottom arm. This bottom arm is going to begin to lock out on me, and pretty much it's locked. So at that point, uh, I'm going to have this knob right here. It's going to go towards the dugout and just going to make us really long. That's called a cast, and that's a, that's a big one to fix because that's going to make us slow. That's going to make us long to the ball, and it's really going to be difficult to hit uh, faster pitching. You can get away with it with slower pitching. But uh, but this is a huge thing to fix. So uh, meaning not huge to fix, but a huge item uh, if it's not fixed going into playing as you get older. So uh, at this point of our swing, your arm should be looking like uh, the green line here. And a good drill for this is what you want to do is just take a little t-ball bat or a little league bat and just rest it on your shoulders just at this point of your swing and then do soft toss with wiffle balls or tennis balls or something and then just take it off your shoulder when it's 90 degrees and just get it to contact and right at contact is right right when you get extension you want your arm to look like that uh, at contact not right there uh, because that's behind you you want to get extension out in front of you and that's getting extension behind you so that's going to make us long casting muscly uh, we can get a lot more power out of your swing. That's what I'm trying to do is how do we get you be more consistent, have a better foundation, get more power out of your swing, and, and just hit the ball harder more often. Uh, with your size, you should be hitting the ball a lot harder than you do. And this is a big reason because if that locks out behind, then you're going to be using all your arms when I hit. You can see when I go to, to swing, I'm just all arms. And a lot of times you'll be late because that's going to, get you there because I've already extended. Now I'm just swinging all with my arms going through the rest of my swing. Uh, the other thing I see too is you don't get a full rotation uh, on your back side. So make sure that this back foot doesn't move around. Just keep it nice and planted and really get those hips. You can see those hips didn't get all the way through up into your, your front side. I want the hips to be more up in here and this back foot to be a, a full turn. But the reason we're late and the reason we miss some balls is because of that bottom arm locking out and that's a that's a, a big difference in regards to our swing to make sure you can see those feet kind of move around what we want to do is just really make sure to get those legs underneath you we got to keep those feet still and because if your feet are moving and the ball is moving we're going to be uh, have a, a lot harder time to be be consistent here so just something something to be aware about um, as far as for your stance maybe get those that weight more towards the ball of my foot up in here might help you as well to, to focus on hitting a lot of tee work where you just hit off the tee and really hold your finish. But be really quiet with our feet. Uh, but we have to work on that um, that bottom hand for sure of not getting locked out here. So going into our another swing, you can see here that, uh, again, it's locked out really early. And we, we missed that swing. But again, that the feet are a little uh, moving around a little bit. You can see on this turn, this is the end of our swing that that back foot didn't get rotated at all and that uh, that hip got left back here and that we gotta make sure that that hip gets all the way up by your front hip and this back uh, foot gets all the way turned and that's gonna help you get through the baseball and stay through the ball a lot better 
um, and just fixing that lower hand is going to do do wonders for you. So uh, those are the big things that I see. Let's look at uh, this last swing here. And again, this one you got a little bit better in regards to, but you can still see with that arm uh, got a little bit long, but that one at least better at contact. You can still see those feet moving around. See a contact. We're not. We don't have a very solid foundation. That foot kind of moves around, and we still didn't get rotated. So you can see that hip only got half rotated, and same with the foot. The foot only got half rotated. So what I would do is stick the bat behind you, like you're going to hold one on each side. Well, that's gonna the bat's gonna lay along your back, and you're gonna put one arm behind. So just you can focus on rotating and just getting your hips through. So you start with the barrel of the bat facing the pitcher, and then you're gonna rotate and turn all the way to make sure that that hip comes through and that back foot comes through. Because most of your swings are just like this. You only get half a rotation uh, on your swing. Also, too, this front side you can see it's kind of uh, bent. What you want to do is you want to have that front side to be firm. So this is going to be closed off. So keep that firm. Rotate this back foot. Rotate this hip. Uh, keep your eyes on the ball better as far as don't worry about where the ball goes. Um, and those are the things that are going to get you more consistent. So I'd focus on a lot of T work, a lot of soft toss with that barrel on your shoulder to get extension at contact. Don't get extension early. Get the legs underneath you. Uh, rotate where you need to be rotating. Eyes on the baseball after contact and that's going to make a huge difference in regards to your swing. So just things to work on for the season. I uh, hope you enjoyed camp, and uh, we look forward to having you next year.